Hey everyone, for today's review, we are going to look at these brushes. These are the silver black velvet brushes made by this company called Silver Brush or Silver in Shot. I have been getting requests for these brushes to review them occasionally. So here I am today with these three brushes. The hair used in these brushes is a mix of squirrel and synthetic filament. And if you know anything about squirrel brushes, they can hold a lot of water and they can also taper to a sharp point, something like this. This is a very sharp comparable to sable brushes. And this is a real squirrel brush. So the appearance of squirrel brushes, the hair is usually black in color. So that's what you're looking at right now. The brushes I have here are considered short handled brushes because they are well short and these bodies they are also available in the collapsible form something like this where you can pull the body here to cover the bristle so let's take a look at the shapes that i have this is a size 8 round brush this is a cat's thumb this is a sword or dagger they are also available in other shapes like script, oval, the flat wash, and other typical watercolor brush shapes that you may know of. The first thing that got my attention when I first got hold of this brush is the size of the bristle. Let's compare the black velvet to some other size 8 brushes that I have. This one in the middle, this is a synthetic brush. Notice the shape of this brush versus the squirrel brush. This is a bit thinner. It's about the same length. And this is a sable brush. This is size 8 as well, but this is slightly longer. The shape, it's quite similar, but there are some slight differences. So with the squirrel brush, the belly is a bit closer to the furu. The belly for the sable brush, it's a bit higher here and then it curves back down here. So if you want to get a real size 8 brush for the black velvet, you may have to get a size 10 because the brushes for black velvet, it's like one step smaller. These brushes, they are really soft. And because of the sharp point, you can get very thin lines. The brushes, they hold a lot of water, so you can hold a lot of paint with them. They are softer compared to sable brushes. One good thing about them is they can still go back to a point when you lift up the brush. So these are the strokes from this round brush. This is a very capable brush. It's not as springy compared to a sable brush, but I feel that it's almost as capable. And now let's switch over to the dagger striper. The name of the brush is actually written on the body. One thing about squirrel hair is because they are so soft, they may droop like a real mop, so it's a bit difficult to retain the actual shape of the brush because the hair is just so soft. But because this is mixed with synthetic filament, I believe that helps in retaining the shape somewhat. Because if you just use a real squirrel uh, brush with only squirrel hair, I believe it's very difficult to retain a shape like this. So this is a pretty interesting um, brush, the dagger stripper. You can get very thin lines as well. And because there is a lot of hair, it can hold a lot of water and you can use it to paint large washes. You can get shapes like this. I don't usually use brushes like this. I use round brushes most of the time. But this brush, it's really interesting. The length of this brush that I have here is about 1.5 inches or around 4 centimeters. This is the measurement. 
Because the brush can hold a lot of paint and water, it is important to wash the brush completely to get all the paint out to make sure that no paint still uh, re remains in the bristles. This last brush that I have here is the cat's thumb. They also call it the oval brush. So we can get shapes like this. We can get thin lines if you use it on the side like this. This is another brush that I usually do not um, use. I mean the shape. It's not something that I use very often. And because there is so much hair, you can load a lot of paint on it. If you get the flat wash, then you can expect the performance to be something like this. So these are the strokes that I can get with these three brushes. I like the fact that they can go back to a sharp point. So if you want to draw details, draw really thin lines, these brushes, they are suitable. And if you want to paint large washes, you can get a large flat wash or a large oval wash like this, and you can paint um, large washes very easily. Overall, I'm very satisfied with my purchase. They perform very well. These are not very expensive brushes. They are cheaper compared to sable brushes but more expensive compared to synthetic brushes. But because they are using squirrel hair and synthetic filament, they have sort of the characteristics of synthetic and real hair brushes. So they can hold a lot of water and they can still keep their shape. So overall, um, for me, I think they are quite worth the money. So that's all for today's review. If you happen to use silver black velvet brushes as well, I would love to hear your thoughts on them share your experiences in the comment section below i will read them if you are not using these brushes and if you are interested to get them i will put some purchase links in the video description below you can check them out so thanks for watching today's video see you in the next one bye